you'd prefer to stay independent. That's yeah. cool. I so I think um I think that's becoming more and more the norm actually as uh sort of music becomes more accessible to create yeah. and more accessible to distribute, right? Mm-hmm. To streaming services. You've got all these different distributors and they're all trying to offer different deals and different like little bonus and add-ons. So I think it's like the, it's not easy, but it is definitely the best and easiest maybe it's been to get started yeah. making music, right? It's shifting too. Um, a lot of people are trying to put the ownership back into um their hands like a lot of artists um there's this guy named la russell i don't know if you've ever i love the russell he's yeah. super dope um i like how he just does everything oh, with his business. Crazy. Like, he does the offer up yeah like, yeah you offer even, what you want to pay i don't know if you if anybody watching's ever heard it even but it's um it's an offer based platform where you can sell your music and your fans basically get to pay however much they want yeah to you know, get your album. And I think that's super dope because there's people who will pay a dollar for your shit and there's people who pay a hundred dollars for your shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you can really like dissect who's actually fucking with you and who who isn't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And those people who are fucking with you, you can give them something extra. And yeah. That's what he does, you know. Check him out, you know, if if you No, yeah, Lil Russell is fucking yeah, tight, dude. He drops tight. gems like dude, nonstop. Dude. Such a great performer too. Bro. Yeah, like, dude. I he, just he reminds me of me a little bit, bro. He's like a lot of people don't know how to perform. It's all about being a kid on stage, and he just really fucking has fun. Yeah, and, uh, he does. It's, it's super fun to watch his, his shorts. His shows, too, um, from what I, at least recently, he's been doing even offer-based shows. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, you, like he, I, I saw it was like last summer that he was doing like shows in his backyard. Mm-hmm. No, he's still doing that, He's too. still doing it, yeah, dude? That's yeah, fucking he built, awesome. He built a stage in his backyard. Um, he... Um, has like a gold card that he offers to his fans and everybody who has a gold card I think you have to have a gold card to be able to um, get to those backyard shows because it's like ran by his family like yeah he's got his, that's what I see like his, his parents yeah. grilling out and stuff and it's, it's so dope it's super though. wholesome yeah it's, and it, I don't know I feel like everybody should aspire to be like that bro yeah. like it's like At the realistic something can get. from it yeah, yeah that's, sure. I mean just imagine I don't know like Imagine like telling you when you were starting out making even just making beats, right? Just getting started in music. They're like, "Hey, in a couple of years from now, you're going to just walk out your like back patio door right. onto a stage and there's going to be people that only people there that really truly fuck with you and you're just going to perform your art." That's just That's, it's the, pure that's hard the goal, work, man. bro. Like a lot of people ain't dedicated, man. And a lot of people be overthinking. Sometimes I'm that overthinker too, but just put in the work, man make sure it's good yeah. you know have the right people around you and hard work pays off in that and it beats what? talent thanks for watching that last video guys click right over here to see the episode in its entirety or click over here to subscribe and check out all the other cool shit we have on the channel what are you gonna do what are you gonna do do it